Thanks, Sean. Hi, William. Hi, William. What? Did, uh, did, any any past experience with being out of the lineup uh, with an injury that you drew on to get through uh, this stint being on injured reserve? Uh, I've been pretty pretty healthy the past few years, and so I've been lucky with that. And uh, right now, I get injured, and you just gotta stay in shape and try to get uh, back as. Uh, as quick as possible, and and uh, it's good to be back. You know, you and Adam Larson seem to have clicked pretty well together in terms of being able to, you know, to hit and block shots and and do all those gritty things. What? Why do you think you guys have worked well as a pairing? Um, uh, I mean, we we were both Swedes. Maybe that's why. Uh, I, I don't know. He's a righty. I'm a lefty. Uh, we play kind of uh, towards a similar game. I think we had a good uh, good start of the season when we get paired together, and uh, we've just been trying to build on that and try to to build some good uh, chemistry together. So it's good to come back yesterday and uh, and play with him again. And I think we we had a good game yesterday too. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, William, when two Swedes play together, do you talk on the ice in English or in Swedish? Uh, we both have been playing over here for uh, quite a bit, so. Uh, it's more more natural to speak uh, English on the ice to use those terms and stuff like that. But uh, uh, we we mix a little bit sometimes when uh, we're on the bench and uh, explain a couple of things that happen out there. We we can speak uh, Swedish too, but uh, usually the terms out there uh, on the ice we usually uh, mm. usually use uh, English. So Swedish uh, young Swedish hockey players, I'm sure all looked at Nicholas Lindstrom and Eric Carlson and stuff, but you and, and, and Adam play a, a more of a defensive shutdown kind of style. Was there a defenseman that played your sort of style that you liked a Swedish defenseman when you were growing up? <clears throat> Excuse me, I couldn't hear you the, the last, uh, last few words there. Was there a Swedish defenseman in the NHL that you, you really liked when you were growing up who played the same sort of style you do not Eric Carlson or somebody like that, an offensive. Uh, offensive. Yeah, obviously, like you said, uh, Nick Lidstrom. Uh, I'm a guy I've been uh, uh, watching and to try to learn uh, learn things uh, from uh, him, uh, Cronwall. Uh, yeah, those guys play hard, uh, solid. Uh, been been in the NHL for a long time and. We're having great uh, careers, so uh, uh. Rob Kuchkowski, Post Media. I, uh, playing playing with Adam. He's he's a guy that uh, plays a, a heavy, solid, uh, good defensive game. What do you what do you pick up from him? What do you learn from watching and, and playing with Adam Larson? Uh, I think what he's doing really good is to play 100% in all situations. Uh, he doesn't go into a situation like. Uh, uh, 50, 60 percent. Like it's uh, it's hard. He's hard on guys, close on guys. Uh, good stick, has a good gap. Uh, all those kind of things, like passing the puck, shooting the puck. Like you gotta do those things like 100 uh, percent and really hard. And uh, that's what I've been uh, picking up most and uh, try to try to do that the, the same thing. Now, your road to the NHL has been a little longer than most. I think you're drafted like six years or so ago. Um, you grinded and fought pretty hard to get to this point. What has been the key to to you making it this far? Um, I think uh, what I try to stand for is that I'm a hardworking guy. Uh, that's what uh, what has been taking me here. Uh, just try to every day, like do my best, try to live live the life. Uh, uh, do 100 percent in everything I'm doing. Uh, try to get be better every day. Um, so I would say just uh, work ethic and uh, hard work, and it's uh, good that it pays off too. Tony Brar, Oilers TV. Well, you know, just building off Rob's question there, you talked about the things that kind of led you here, but what are some things that you look forward to in terms of? developing in your game that you want to continue to hone as your NHL career goes on? Um, I think there's, there's always things that you can you can get better at. Uh, uh, right now, uh, trying 
trying to move move uh, the puck quicker, uh, finding finding place all there all around the ice. Uh, it's always uh, nice to improve your offensive game too, because uh, uh, I think one of my biggest strengths my whole my whole career has been my my defensive part of the game. So uh, that's what I'm trying to focus on right now. Uh, you mentioned uh, being injured earlier. Of course, no player wants to be sitting in the press box and watching games, but you had the opportunity to watch this team when you guys first started this homestand and you dropped three to Toronto and now you've won the last three. What has been the biggest difference for you and your club in perhaps getting back to your game and getting back to your winning ways? And how big is it to end off your homestand with a win tonight? Uh it's always going to be up and downs uh, during the year. Uh, like you said, we had a lot of down there in Toronto series, but uh, it's good that we bounced back uh, good these past uh, two games here. And uh, uh, we're just going to play the same way uh, as we've been been doing now the, the past games here. And uh, I think we're going to, if we play that way, we're going to close, close down this series uh, with th three wins.